everyone, this is Jamie with Homeschool Stories. So I am in, um, continuing my video series on what we use for challenge A, and this one is geography or cartography. So um, if you're part of a classical conversations group and you have a child either in challenge A or will be in challenge A in the next few years, and you're doing a little research, then this is the what we call the debate strand. And in this strand or this subject area, um, we actually do geography. I'm going to move my light a little bit. It is like shining in my face. Um, sorry. Um, this is the geography strand. And now they call it cartography. So it used to be that, first I can't see and now my light is too bright. Oh my gosh. There, <gasps> hi. Okay, it used to be that it was just geography. And all we did was, I mean, not I shouldn't say all we did because it was a lot of work, but um, all we did was learn to basically draw the entire world um, by hand, from heart, you know, from memory, um, labeling all of these places, you know, countries, capitals, states, provinces, territories, rivers, mountains, you know, all those kinds of things. Um, so it was a, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, but that's what it was. It was just, it was just basically limited to the drawing and the learning the places, but now they've kind of ex expanded it. And I think they gave it a proper name, um, of cartography, which is map making, right? The study of map making and exploring the world, um, through maps and map making and, um, how, what the history of that is. And so this is their beautiful new book. Um, and it's really, really super pretty and it's hard bound and it's, um, very colorful and it has all these maps in it. Here's like, here's the Europe chapter. Uh, let's see. You can see how pretty it is. It has all these wonderful pictures. It has, um, things that you can read. It, there's chapters, like little sections in here. Here's some of the maps. Here's the Europe map. Um, this is the color one there. A physical map here is a an old map look at that one um, here's the maps that they would use to, to do their cartography or their drawing so they give the color and then the black and white um, version as well down below and it's just really neat it has like here here's some of the reading kind of like an encyclopedia um, about that region and the history um, of explorers or maps and things like that. So discoveries and things, voyages. It's a really neat book. That being said, people are going to get angry with me, but I kind of wish it wasn't so nice. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice book and I think the price is fair for the quality of the book. It's $35, $34.99. Um, and it's obviously going to last. And so that's good, but it's heavy. And a lot of it is this cover and it's going to get beat up in my kid's backpack and they're going to have to take it back and forth to CC every week. So if they ever revise this, my suggestion is to make a beautiful coffee table version like this and a not so beautiful student version that they can throw in their book bag. Because I always hate that she's like squishing this into her book bag or in their, crap, you know, the, their like rolly carts and see it's already getting like it's all messed up. So that's my only complaint is that it's too pretty, but it's a really neat book. So this is cartography and each week they are assigned an area in the world that they will not only um, learn to map by heart, but that they will read about in this book as well. Okay, so it used to be that the maps that they needed to draw from were in the back of their challenge guide, and that is no longer. The maps are these maps that are inside here. So we have, here's Asia, and then the Black Line Master down at the bottom. Now I will say, again, that I go back and forth on whether I like these maps better than the other maps that used to be in the back of the guide. Um, but I like the color ones a lot. This is so helpful because sometimes it's hard on the eye to see even where water and land is um, when you just have the black and white map. But the color ones are beautiful and I really, really love them. And they're not very bright. It's just enough color for you to see the lines and the territories that you're working on. Um, and everything's labeled that you're gonna need to know. So it's all here. So I really, really like that and really appreciate that. So there's, there's some more, there's Russia. 
and then the black one at the bottom. So, okay, so what do you need? You need this. Um, you're going to need to also define terms and then draw. So um, let's talk about the defining terms. Um, well, let's talk about the notebook. Um, to, I put together a notebook for my daughter, and you can do this all different ways. Um, and I, but I took the time this year to do this because I really wanted to do it this way for my son and I never did it. Um, but I just put it in this three ring binder. I made a photocopy of the front just to put in the front of her binder so she knew that this went with her book. Um, and in the front I put, these are copies out of her guide, out of her Challenge A guide. This is page 187. And this is the page that basically details what weeks they're working on, which continents, and what um, part of those territories or areas that they're focusing on like whether it's the features or the countries and the capitals and then these are the terms for the week so there's a set of geography terms and they learn them in alphabetical order and they work on making a dictionary of those terms okay so these are the terms that are assigned for each week so you can quickly see here the scope and sequence of the cartography course so that's in the front then I have a tab that says geography terms and right here is just paper now she and I decided that we were just going to write the terms in like a running list. So this created kind of like a glossary of terms. So because they're given in alphabetical order, it's nice you keep them in that order and she writes the term and the definition. Okay, so this is where we are now. Now there are some really cute um, printables. Your director might give you some or on CC Connected where like you can turn it into the, this really neat dictionary with areas for you to draw pictures of the area or print and pop, copy and paste um, picture examples of each of the, the words like, uh, let's see, brink or canal, you know, so you would have an actual picture of that place and they would look up where an example of one is located and things like that. This is one of those areas where I weighed my options of does the benefit of doing it outweigh the time it would take? Um, and I felt like my real goal here was for her to know the definitions um, and be able to see what they look like. So, but I don't care if she draws those pictures. I want her to, for, to really focus on drawing the maps. So we decided that this was good for us. This was still working um, what was asked of us in the guide. Um, there are definitions given in the guide and you can choose as a parent whether or not you want to give them this part of the guide to just copy the definitions from or if you want them to look them up themselves. Again, I gave her this. She has to find it and copy it. Now as far as finding out what they look like, I have this. So this is available from CC Connected, but I actually ended up buying it from somebody who had already downloaded it printed it, cut it, laminated it, and put it on a ring. Um, so uh, I actually got it from a friend So because she was done with it. Um, but basically, it's in CC Connected, so you can get it there. It has the word. Here's cave. It has a picture. And then on the back is the definition. Can't really see it because of my light, but there's the definition. Um, so all the words are here. So we use this to review her terms but I still make her write the terms in her list. So that's kind of how we do it. Um, she writes the terms, then once she does that, we use this to do our flashcards every day. So that's what we do. Okay, so there's a, those are the geography terms. My next tab says geography places. And this is where we put the pages from the guide. For example, this is page 188. And this is the Canada um, features and provinces and territory. These are all of the places that the guide gives you to label and put on a map um, of that area. So the first couple weeks you focus on Canada. So these are all of the possible places that you can label on your Canada map. So it's a lot. So I go through and highlight everything that I require of her. Um, so in this case, there were 42 items that I required as a minimum. And if she did more than that, that's great on her test. Um, if she labeled things that weren't highlighted because she happened to remember those, then I count those as well. And if she forgot one that I did highlight, then that's okay. I just take the overall. So if she's got at least 42 in my assessment, then she would um, have made 100 on the test. So on her test, she got 37 out of 42. Um, and so I wrote it here to remind me, but that's what she made 
on her Canada test after the second week. Um, so that's what I have here. So these are just copies out of the guide of all the different places. Then I have the My Map section, and this is the part I'm super excited about. So I got this like drawing paper that comes in these big sheets, and I cut them to be the right size for this. And basically, what I do is each week, she's going to draw at least one map a day. So I have four pieces of white paper in here, and on those four pieces of paper, she draw, like in this case, Canada. She drew Canada and labeled all the places required of her. One, two, three, I can't turn the page. There's her. This is an old map from an old guide, but um, she put it here to help. And then four. And then on the last day, I give her the big piece and she draws... In this case, we just went ahead and did Canada instead of the world, but she drew the whole thing, all of Canada nice and big, and labeled everything and tried to do everything from memory. And so that became her week one maps. And so I just put them inside, fold them over. Um, it actually is week two because when you go to class the first week, you don't have anything assigned for to bring. So this is what she worked on due on week two. And then week three, same thing, only at that point I switched her over to the world map at the end. So this last page is the whole world. Um, but right here where Canada is, she had to actually put in all the details that she has learned so far and label everything that she knows. So it's kind of like your final test where you have to draw the whole world, only all these continents are just kind of holding the spot for them because we don't know anything about them yet. And she fills in what she knows to this point. Okay, so then Here's the USA, we're doing the western part, so she's got half of it there. That was in class, so she's got some of her maps here. And then by the time we get to the end, again drawing the world, and she filled in, I don't know if you can see it, there you go. Canada and the states, she hasn't labeled them yet. But there's the half of the United States details done, and all of Canada. So that's how that works. And so I have one of these for each and every week um, ready to go. So they have their like construction paper piece and four pieces of white paper and they're all ready to go. And that is her geography notebook. So that's what you need for geography. You need your book, somewhere to draw your maps and write your definitions. Um, that's how we've done it. And then if you want flashcards, then you can make your own or use CC Connected and find um, these really cool flashcards. They're really pretty. They have great pictures. Saves you tons of time um, to do your flashcard review for your terms. So that's it. So check out some of the other videos. I'll be going through the different subjects and explaining how we do each subject and the resources that we use and maybe give you some ideas. And I'd love for you to share your ideas as well if you've got some great ideas that the rest of us might not know about. And we can all help each other out. We'll see you guys later. Bye.